Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. You've joined us for our checkout day at the WB. This is our last ever morning here at Sidekicks. Uh, the kids were glad to see the characters and I was glad to see the breakfast buffet. So uh, I will miss this, but if I stayed for any longer, I would have ended up the size of a house. The food was incredible. We're checking out of here and we are heading to the Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi. Just checked out of the WB Hotel, had a lovely stay there, didn't we? So nice. We've so got nice. some memorabilia there at the end as well. So uh, we've got key rings and a mug and a bag. It was good, wasn't it, yeah. Yeah, Wasn't yeah, expecting yeah. that, so thank you very much. Um, so we are all in the car and we are heading to... Grand Mosque. The Grand yeah. Mosque in Abu Dhabi. So we're quite interested to see that. Um, they give you robes um, to put on if you're not dressed appropriately. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, we Which we're, we're not, by the way, because no. they haven't brought any long sleeve or long or trousers. Long trousers with us, no. but apparently they, they do provide it for you, which is good. So the sat nav says 17 minutes from Yas Island, so we'll see how it goes, but it's taking us into the center of Abu Dhabi, which will be nice for us to see. It will. It will. And Looking how are you feeling it. today, No, You feeling better? Yeah, a lot better. Good. Never a nice game for the on holiday, is it? So it's a real straightforward drive to get to the Grand Mosque from Yas Island. Um, I've really enjoyed driving out here and found it quite straightforward. The roads are really well laid out. Once you get into Abu Dhabi and start heading towards, you can see the mosque from quite a distance away. It's really well signed and really easy to find in the end. Come in, park, uh, when you come into the mosque, there's underground parking you're directed to, and then you come into the main visitor center. This is like a mall. There's um, McDonald's, Tim Hortons, Costa, Starbucks, um, shops, you see all around. It's, it really is just like a, a, a shopping mall. Um, and then the entrance to the mosque is up there, so we'll take you up and show you. Um, not sure I was fully expecting this. It's, it, no, it's, I wasn't it's, expecting this either. Yeah, I wasn't well, expecting it to be connected to a mall. No, and this really is, it was a boot, it's beauty, so it is effectively a mall. Yeah. It is a mall that's here. Which would, which would um, make you understand the underground parking, why yes. it's so busy. Funny, I was going to comment when I said the size of the underground parking, I was going to say this is like the size of the parking complex you'd have, you're going to Blue Water or something. Yeah. Um, and now this, is, this makes more sense. So this is the line to get through security. It's crazy. So we are getting pitted out here. You're in a Havaya. I've got a robe. They don't provide them, by the way, but there's lots of shops around here. Yeah, and they provide them for four, 45. Well, mine's 50, yours 45, so it's not bad. But at 10, 12 quid, then you've got, you got some of it. A bit of memorabilia. And kids 10 and under are okay. We've got our robes on. Jem's got a Havaya. Security is really quick. They say it's not really straight, it's straight through. Quite big queues, but it goes down really quick. They've got it really slick the way it's moving. I think there's a full on security scanner up here, um, and that's where you scan your tickets in. So that's us through security, and we're heading up to the main tolerance path, this is called. Um, I'll turn around so you can see what I can see. From dream to reality. Construction, 5th of November, no, 14th today. 5th of November 1996. Can they start my construction of, yeah, 5th of November today. It kind of feels a bit like you're in a, a huge mall or an airport even. There's so many, there's so big. There's so many like travel leaders that we're walking on. Um, it just seems to go on and go on, so 
no, we are part of the mosque, like here, but we're not in the actual, the actual mosque. Look in the park, Jim. So once you got up into the actual mosque area itself, it was incredible. The architecture is absolutely beautiful. The photo opportunities are great. One thing you have to be careful of is uh, there's a lot of security around. There's no touching. Um, we were going to take a photograph and I stood next to Jem and instinctively put my arm around her and they, they approached me very quickly and said, you're not allowed to touch. So there's no touching, no kissing, no shows of affection between men and women while you're in the mosque area. But once you're aware of that and it's, you have to be respectful and, and abide by that, so there's no problem. You can just see how gorgeous this is and this is just the start of it. There's more inside. Um, the, you know, the, the kids didn't love it. They they thought it was, you know, it was more cultural than than exciting, and especially after having a, a holiday based on theme parks and instant gratification for the kids every two minutes, uh, they found this. Uh, they didn't mind it, but they they didn't love it as much as we did. We we thought it was beautiful. We're just coming to the viewing of the Grand Mosque now. I can't tell you how impressive this whole building was. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's obviously a functional mosque and there's people pray there every day. There's loads of information dotted around the place to give you information on what's happening, uh, about how many domes there are. I think there's over 80 in total. Um, the mosque was built between 1994 and 2007. The whole project was launched by the late president of the UAE, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan. He wanted to develop a structure that would unite the cultural diversity of the Islamic world and historic and modern values and he had a real penchant for architecture and art. So uh, when he died in 2004, he actually got buried in the courtyard of the mosque, which was a lovely touch and, and a lovely tribute to him. There's a carpet in the main hall that's considered by many to be the world's largest carpet. It's made by an Iranian carpet company. Uh, and it's 5,627 square meters. That's over 60,000 square feet. And it was made by around 1,200, 1,300 carpet knotters. It was made by hand. The weight of the carpet is over 35 tons. And get this, there's over two and a quarter billion knots within the carpet. It took approximately two years to complete in total. There was just beautiful sights all around you. Uh, should it be in the walls, the ceiling, uh, the carpets, the windows, just incredible. Um, just over here, that's the main prayer room in the background with the big hanging chandelier. That room alone is big enough to hold 7,000 worshippers. The mosque area as a whole is big enough to hold over 40,000 worshippers at one time. I could not believe that when I read that statistic. It's, it's absolutely huge but incredibly beautiful with it. To find out more about Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, you can visit the Al Jama Library and the Visitor Center. The library serves as a window for researchers and those interested in exploring the most significant advancement of the Islamic culture in arts. Dear guests, we hope that you enjoyed your visit. In your journey at Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque, we have seen one of our common treasures, including the Jasmine Christian Fields, one of the world's largest modern mosaic courtyards, the reflected pools that reflect the floral columns of the We're here, Prince Philip and the Queen meeting the founder of the UAE, I think. So that's us done on the Grand Mosque. I've got to say, it's absolutely beautiful. So, so nice. Um, 
hopefully the footage does it justice. We've got quite a bit that we could inside and out in the area of July. There's pretty strict in some areas, but we did know that from researching ourselves. Uh, when Gem and I was having a photograph together, you're not allowed to touch each other, link arms or anything like that, so you just have to be respectful. They're okay about it. People come to say you can't do that. They're not going to shout out or anything, um, but they are pretty strict on it. Um, it's important that you stay within the certain cordoned areas of the big open spaces to do some videos and photos. There's a couple of people who stepped outside that and they were security were there to ask them to move back in, which is fair enough. Um, but yeah, absolutely stunning. I'm so glad we did it. It was like 15 minutes from Yas Island to get here um, and it's only out of 15 minutes on our journey to get back to Biden Sisters House. So yeah, really pleased. Um, and it was a nice, it was a nice opportunity to put the, uh, the robes on um, and, uh, and go and get a bit of culture. So yeah, really enjoyed that. The boys were amazed to see this incredible Lamborghini on the way out, so we had to get some footage of that. Um, a straightforward drive back to Dubai took us about an hour and 15 minutes, I think, from uh, the Grand Mosque back to Dubai. It's just the E11 road, straight, 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 all the way. So we hope you enjoyed the Kenna Cultural Vlog today. If you did, do give us a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do consider doing that now and hit that notification button so you never miss a video ever again. Thanks guys. See you in the next one. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. See you in the next.